Look at the cool hidden blade. Let's see how it's made by 3D printing. We use our software Cloud 3D Print to create a project name Assassin's Creed Hidden Blades. Upload all the parts to the project, put the parts into the hotbed, choose slicing parameters, and start slicing in the cloud. When we get the G-code files, we can start printing. After 14 hours, all parts are ready to be installed. Here are all parts printed out. Step 1. Assemble Blades Cover. Firstly, we need to do polishing to make the surface of the blade smooth enough for moving, and then apply the polishing agent to glue the blade covers. The agent is toxic and evaporable. Be careful. After bonding, the blade is locked inside but is movable. Step 2. Assemble Slide. We need to prepare two strong rubber bands. For each rubber band, cross it and tie the two ends. Assisting with fishing line, the rubber band is passing through a slide lock from one end to another and can be fixed with an Allen key. Remove the Allen key. The rubber band on the other side of the slide lock is pulled by fishing line to the locking position. After that, use tweezers to adjust the position to make sure the rubber band is hidden in the slot and it is not twisted to avoid extra friction. When you install two slide locks to the slot, here is the slide assembly look like. Step 3. Assemble cover plate with trigger. Prepare a rubber band of soft stretch to assemble the trigger to the cover plate. We also use tweezers to adjust the position of rubber. Here is cover plate look like. Step 4. Sanding Flippers Flippers are applied to make the blade easier to stretch out. We need an extra effort to sand the flippers like this. Step 5. Assemble the main housing. From the bottom to top, we need to put the case, blade and blade cover, flippers, bezel and top cover plate. Adding with extra rubber bands, we can now check how it works. It is working now. Step 6. Assemble the gear deployment. Put the gear base, gear ring, and gear lock together. Make sure the parts are placed in the correct direction. Step 7. Assemble the gear pole. Firstly, install the rubber band and fishing line to the two ends of gear pole rack. The fishing line should be fixed at one end and reverse a section for later use. Then, put the gear deployment into the housing. Secondly, install the gear pole rack by fixing its two ends to the assembled main housing using installed rubber band and fishing line. Thirdly, add the cover to the main housing, fixing it with the screws. We are almost done. Last step, assemble the ring control. Tie the ring to the far end of fishing line to control the gear pole rack. Let's see the effect. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Cloud 3D Print to see the latest videos.